Hi, my HD family. We're here at Korean Barbecue here off of Palmdo Road in Victorville, California. So I think this is one of the only Korean barbecue places here. Um, so we're gonna try it out with you guys today. We're gonna pig out and eat as much meat and everything that we can, okay? We are, we came hungry. We have not ate all day. We skipped lunch for this. We skipped lunch to eat and pig out here at Korean barbecue. We love, we love Korean barbecue. Well, at least I do. I love Korean barbecue and I convinced everybody, you know, the family to come out and have Korean barbecue and pig out with me today. So I want to bring you guys along with us. So you can check in this spot in the high desert. So Korean barbecue in the high desert guys, let's go do it.
enjoy the Korean barbecue here, okay? So uh, let's dig in.
never been, I know, right? No. But Laura, I mean, this is uh, one of Laura's favorite. She loves Korean barbecue. I love Korean barbecue. It's so good. Yeah. All the meats you can want to get and have. And I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that it was like an all green meat. So, I mean, I was pretty shocked uh, to find that out. Well, sh I mean, it's nice, but I don't even know how much I can really eat. But um, it's nice to know that I can eat whatever I want. Right? So, and Laura's over here, I don't know the concept of this, but... So, we got, we have some uh, spicy beef, I think this is, I think this is spicy bogey, this is brisket, and then this is uh, just regular bogey. Regular bogey. Beef bogey. Okay. So, that's what we're starting with. That's what we're starting with right now. I mean, so enjoy the rest Here's of the vlog. Here's the steamed egg, okay? You just want to Oh, thank you.
Lucy family. We are here at Seoul Garden Korean barbecue. We just finished eating. This is pretty much, I believe, the only Korean barbecue that we have up here in the high desert. Um, it was really good. I mean, I love Korean barbecue. I just love it. Um, so we have, it is a little bit more on the pricier side, I feel, for, I believe it was $35.99 per person. And that's just for the standard meats, like bulgogi, pork, um, pork belly, uh, different types of chickens and things like that. Um, it was it was really good. I mean, I did think it was a little uh, on a little more expensive um, for the selection of meat that you get, but it was really good. I mean, the, I love the salad. They give you obviously the salad, the rice. I mean, I love meat, so it was so good. And I also wanted to talk about service. I feel the, overall the service was good. I mean, we always had we were always being asked what we needed, what we wanted. And I mean, not just by our server, by several people, several servers that were working um, here. So I think that was really good. It was very, we, you know, we got attended to very, very nicely. It was, um, the girls were very nice. And so I, I did like the service that they provided. I mean, a time we're here, they did forget a couple of my meats. But it's okay. I, I, you know, I'll forgive them this time. But it was overall a good experience with the service. I did like, I did like that they try to attend to us, and they did make sure to ask us what we needed, even though not all the times it was given. But yes, overall, what I think is that my overall, I guess you say, rating is a five. So one out of one to ten, I would say five. I mean, to kill the craving of Korean barbecue, this is this is the spot. Because if you're here, <laughs> if you're here, this is the spot to come. It's the only one here. So I mean, for that, it was good. Um, the food obviously was good. I mean, it was tasty. I just wish I had more selection of meats, and for sure, I wish it was a little less expensive for the selection of meats that you get, okay? And also, I I did not like or I was surprised that they charge you a mandatory gratuity now. Um, as so I guess that it, with every anyone who comes in here if after with your bill, you have to pay a mandatory gratuity. Um, the, the good thing is that it's only, it's 15% gratuity added to your bill, which you have to pay, okay? So, Again, that does make it a little bit more ex on the expensive side to come out here and enjoy Korean barbecue. But we already know you gotta pay for the meats. You gotta pay, you know? Meat's expensive right now, you guys. But overall, this is a great spot for in the high desert to get your Korean barbecue fix. And I also wanted to say overall, the rating on just the ambiance, the vibe of the place, I would say is on the lower end for me as well. It's like a four three to four i'll get i'll be i'll give it a four a four i do feel like they do need a little bit more love and uh you know a little bit more love here the, you know the floor was a little bit yes yeah, sticky and it just felt like it's uh peeling the paint is peeling and stuff like that so i just think they need to put a little bit more love into the restaurant for sure but i mean overall the meats were good um and to get a korean barbecue fix um this is great spot great spot for that so i just wanted to give you my honest review and opinion about this spot because i was taking you guys along to another hot spot here in the high desert and yeah so that way you can see that there is options there is korean barbecue up here in the high desert the only thing it is you know just a little bit more pricier and i mean different quality but for sure it's an option here so let me know what you guys think, High Desert Family, or if you've been here before. If you've been here before, what your experience was, and, you know, let us know. And just know that we're, and here. we're here to show you just exactly all the things you can do here up in the High Desert. And showing you another potential hotspot of the day. Okay? Bye, guys.